Hello YouTube, my name is Grimace. You are watching Hike California. On this channel, I talk about hiking, backpacking, backpacking gear in the state of California. If those kinds of things interest you, why don't you click that subscribe button? Why don't you click that notification bell? That way you get notified every time I post a new video. Those of you who have followed this channel for a while, you probably know this piece I'm wearing right now. This is the Arcteryx Cormac Long Sleeve Zip Neck Shirt. So this unzips, you can vent. Uh, it's got a little bit of a collar, keeps the sun off of you. I hate wearing sunblock. I absolutely hate it. I hate the feeling of it on my skin. I hate having to reapply it. I always forget. I sweat it off. I'm a bigger guy. I sweat a lot. And so I tend to cover myself up with, uh, with, with clothing so that I don't have to worry so much about sunblock. And that's great, but sometimes it's not necessarily like the best look or not necessarily how I want to uh, dress in the back country. And I make some compromises. One of them is when I'm wearing this, I have to wear some sort of head covering that uh, covers the, that protects the back of my neck. Because even though I've got this up, this is exposed, top of my ears are exposed, my nose is exposed, I mean obviously that my entire bald head is exposed. But I typically wear something like this, which is the REI Co-op Screeline Sombrero, which I got on clearance, and I would never buy this intentionally, but um, it's got some miles on this thing. It's so ugly. It's so dorky. Ooh. The other piece I'll wear a lot is this Outdoor Research Sunrunner cap. I'm still a bit dorky, but I actually do kind of like this piece. It's got, you know, just the part that hangs down. You can actually take this off if you wanted to and just wear it as a ball cap. The problem with this piece or with the sombrero um, is wearing a hoodie. So especially as we get into shoulder season, and here in California, you might have, you know, 80 degrees during the day and then, you know, 50 degrees at night. It's not quite as bad as some other places, but we do have some pretty, pretty big temperature shifts. And so if you want to wear a hoodie at night, if you want to wear a fleece hoodie or, or a down hoodie at night, it won't, you can't put a hood over this. On top of that, uh, rain gear. Um, so if it rains, again, in the winter is when we tend to get most of our weather, especially in Southern California, getting a rain uh, coat over this. Now you might think, well, either you don't have to wear the hat if it's raining, and that's true, but I don't like to switch out layers all day long and figure out that whole balancing act. So this year I have been really falling in love with a piece that I actually already owned but never really wore a lot, and that's the sun hoodie. And I own three sun hoodies, and I just kind of wanted to talk to you about all three of them, tell you what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and um, just kind of give you some of the highlights. So the cool thing about a sun hoodie, you know what? Let me change into one. You know, if you're gonna do the uh, snap like transition thing, you should make sure you're standing in the right place and get the same frame. You should probably look at what it is. I didn't do that. So this is the Prana Soul Defender Sun Hoodie. This is a bit of a heavier material than the other two hoodies I'm gonna show you. Uh, it weighs actually about 11, I think it's 11.6 ounces. And it has an SPF of, a UPF of 30 plus. So it's gonna keep your skin safe from the sun. Um, but it is pretty heavy. It's pretty thick. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not sure that I would want to be wearing this in super high temperatures, but maybe again a shoulder season hike, something where you're dealing with sun rays, with UV rays, but um, you also do kind of want some, some protection. So this is a little bit warmer. Some other things about this are no thumb holes. Um, obviously you could cut your own, I suppose, but that seems to defeat the purpose. So no thumb holes on this. It is moisture wicking. They are, I believe, all three moisture wicking. And it is made from 100% recycled polyester. So I'm gonna link all three of these below. I wanna be clear, I don't make any money off of this. At this time, I don't have affiliate links. So I'm just giving you my unfettered review. If you're watching this in three years, maybe I'll be making a few dollars off of it, I doubt it. But maybe, I'm reserving that right. But for now, these are just my thoughts. With the Prana, Soul Defender, it's a bit warmer, like I said, it's a bit heavier uh, of a material than the others. It does have a pretty big hood, uh, so that's something to know, is you're gonna, you're gonna probably have some drape um, on this. I could, you know, if I really wanted to, uh, not be able to see while I'm hiking, uh, which, suboptimal, but maybe you want to. 
this is uh, this is a great hoodie. I do actually really like this hoodie. I like the fit. I like the way that it drapes. Uh, do I wish that it had thumb holes? For me, it's not a big deal because I wear sun gloves. Um, for you, maybe it's a bigger deal. In general, it's a good, well-constructed hoodie. Um, it's a bit on the pricier side. It's actually the, the most expensive of the, of the three, but again, it gives you the most sun protection and it's the heaviest material, so it makes sense. Next up is the Patagonia Tropic Comfort 2 hoodie. This thing is Patagonia. What can I say? Uh, Patagonia makes a great product. Um, you won't, you cannot really go wrong with a, Patag with a Patagonia. This thing comes in at seven and a half ounces. This is the extra large. Uh, the UPF is interesting because they used to market it at 50 plus and then they did a recall because they're like, our bad. Uh, this actually comes in somewhere between 17 and 45, uh, averaging 34. So I don't know the UPF. I don't know it. But even at 17, that's 92% of the UV rays, so you're probably fine. Um, but again, just know it's a little lighter weight. It may give you a little less protection. What's interesting about this is the hood is probably the most versatile of the three. So you've got this little button here, and you know you can open it up for some extra ventilation, or you can keep it closed. And it's a tight hood, so it's not gonna come down over your eyes, or at least not for me. Like I can actually pull on this and it's gonna be, it's just gonna stay in place. It's a really good sort of a stretchier fabric, but it's still like a loose drape. I know you can't really see me, I'm not in a great frame for it, but sort of a loose drape, uh, good fit. It is also 100% polyester. I believe 50% of it is recycled polyester. It does have thumb holes, so you can pull it down over your hands and get the sun off of your hands without having to carry sun gloves. If you carry trekking poles, you're gonna have a little bit of your hand exposed, so that's something to know. It doesn't pull down super far. You could, I suppose, bunch it up, but now, now you're compensating for a lack of fabric. So the number one thing for this is it is just a cooler fabric. It feels really nice on the skin. It looks really nice to the eye. Um, it's a really solid product. Next up, coming in at a very cool 4.8 ounces, is the Outdoor Research Echo Sun Hoodie. This is the lightest of the group. It is also 100% polyester. I want to say, I know Patagonia does this, I don't know who else does it. Many of them will claim like, oh, we have this like treatment that makes it not stink. Your hoodie's gonna stink. You're wearing it out in the sun, you're sweating in it, it's polyester, it's not antimicrobial. Your hoodie's gonna stink. Don't buy a hoodie because you think it won't stink because your hoodie's gonna stink. If you get like a merino wool, maybe, I don't know. I don't know that hoodie. I don't know that hoodie, but maybe that exists. But for these, these are all gonna stink. This is again, moisture wicking. It is an SPF of 15. Again, not as much versatility on the hood. You don't have the uh, options to vent. It's actually a pretty high collar, which if you want to be well covered is great, um, but it is gonna restrict some airflow. So just know that it can be, but it's such a light fabric. I think it's a good trade off, but just know that. And uh, it'll pull up. It's a pretty tight fit on the head. Uh, so, you know, if you have a baseball cap, you know, it'll hold it up and that'll keep it off of you and that'll be great but either way, it's gonna be pretty tight. It does have thumb holes. I don't love the thumb holes on this hoodie. Um, so there is a weird sort of like double fabric, like a wrist, like a, a cuff, and it just looks like there's a hole in it when you're wearing, when you put your th thumbs through the thumb hole, it's just a very strange look. I don't care. I don't know why anyone would care, but people care. And just know that. It's a, it's a sort of a strange look. It doesn't sit super well. It folds when you've got your thumbs out. Um, so just know that. Again, it's not gonna pull down super far, um, but it will give you a little more, in my experience, a little more coverage uh, on the knuckles if, you've, if you're out with trekking poles than the Patagonia. But it's pretty minimal and it will probably change per person. As I mentioned, it comes in at 4.8 ounces for the extra large. Um, this one came comes in around, I think, $65, so it's middle of the range. It's the lightest by far. If you have a favorite sun hoodie and I didn't cover it, why don't you leave a comment? Let me know. I would love to try them. I'm getting really into sun hoodies, which is ridiculous. I 
do not need to spend any more money on hiking clothes. It's ridiculous. How much? Why? I've got like 15 shirts. I don't have 15 shirts. I have like eight, seven. I have too many. If you got value out of this video, I would love it if you would click that thumbs up button and lets me know just what kind of content you're responding to. My name's Grimace. You are watching High California, and hey, let's do this again sometime.